tonight on The Prophet. I go inside Sweet Pete's, a confectionery shop whose candy-obsessed owner has created a huge variety of sweets. Their sea salt caramel. It was good. But with a horrible location. Part of location is having foot traffic, and I don't see that here. A partnership gone bad. I'm calling you out on your integrity. It's crap. And an outdated kitchen that won't allow him to keep up with demand. There is a limit to the output, and you're the limit. If I can't turn this business around, I don't see how I can go forward. Sweet Pete's will come to a bitter end. You guys misrepresent my integrity? No, I'm calling you out I'm on sorry. your integrity. My name is Marcus Limonis. I fix failing businesses. We make $10,000 together. I make tough decisions. We'll change the recipes. I mean, that would be the last yeah. thing I want to do. I back them up with my own cash. <laughs> it's not always pretty. Do you want me to get in your face? Because that's your face. face. But this is business. I have lost faith. We need to change dramatically. Well, then, okay, then... I do it to save jobs. Awesome. And I do it to make money. This is The Profit. Sweet Pete's is a candy store located in Jacksonville, Florida, specializing in chocolates and candy, handmade by master chocolatier Peter Berenger. So you guys like candy? Mm -hmm. Pete's love of sweets began at the age of 12 when he started making candy for his mom's shop, Peter Brook Chocolatier. I wouldn't do anything else. The family business was thriving, and life was good for Pete and his wife, Allison. But after a dispute, Pete left the business and was forced to start over from scratch. The last $10,000 we had, we put into this business. Starting over required the help of a financing partner. My whole idea was find talented people and help support them to get a business going. Sweet Pete's opened its doors in 2010. By 2012, it was doing over $400,000 in revenue, but it posted a loss of 17,000. The stress has caused their partnership to crumble. You are a fraud, you are a fraud. With a colorful array of handmade candy, Sweet Pete's has a phenomenal product. This is how it's done. But their lack of business savvy could ultimately be their demise. I can't do it. I love candy, and I know if Sweet Pete's has the right process in place, they'll have a winning recipe. Yeah, that's good. Walking up to Sweet Pete's, I can already see an issue. This retail shop is a converted house in the middle of a sleepy residential neighborhood. I'm Marcus. I'm Brianna. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. Allison? Yes. Marcus. Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Pete. Pete, nice how meet are you? you? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. You look like you're a mad scientist with that lab coat. I guess you could say I am a scientist of sorts. I was a little surprised at where the place is located. It's like in a neighborhood. When we started this business, we had maybe a couple hundred dollars in our pocket or something crazy. We were not in a great financial position, and so someone offered us this place, and we're putting everything we have into building this. How many different types of candies are in here? Hundreds of different types. We make lots and lots and lots of things by hand. It's what Sweet Pete specializes in. Things like caramels, hard candy, pulled sugar, chocolates, toffee. I'd like to get down to tasting. My personal favorite is this. Now, everything that I'm going to taste, you made. Uh, I've got another candy maker on staff who's worked for me for many, many years. Um, I'm going to try one, too. It's, a, it's the most awesome business there is. It brings some joy to my life. So that's an all-natural cherry soaked in Grand Marnier, homemade fondant, and dipped in our Belgian dark chocolate. I didn't really get a good taste. I need another one. I didn't either. Can I see the kitchen? This is it. This is the whole kitchen? This is it. You're doing all your business out of this kitchen? Yes. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Where's the storage at? Where are the coolers? Um, Where's the walk-in fridge? Yeah, none of that. None of that. No wonder this place is struggling. I walk into a kitchen and they are maxed out. If they had more stoves, a walk-in cooler, drying racks, and space for people to actually work, their business could double or triple tomorrow. And so what is this? That's the caramel. How you doing, sir? Pretty good, how are you? Good. This is Demetric. He's our other candy maker. How do you function in this space? Oh, it's like a circus act. We, <laughs> we're on top of each other next, trying to work, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want a vanilla. Vanilla? You guys want to get started? Pete's going to be teaching your class today. As Sweet Pete started getting ready for a candy demonstration, the place started filling up with kids. All right, who likes candy here? Me! Yeah, I love candy, OK. <laughs> so we mixed our sugar. Who wants to eat this? <laughs> So this is pulling process. We're actually folding air into it. We're not using a pump. P 
Pete came alive in that candy class. The parents were engaged, but the kids were mesmerized. You want to make a mustache? Yeah. <laughs> we'll let those sit for just a minute, and then you can bag them up and take them home. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> we had a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Making candy and teaching people how to do it is a great idea. And it's a great model that you could scale across the country. How well do the classes do? Very well. The field trips are the most popular. And then there's also birthday parties. We have more space. We do two or three field trips at a time. And how much is a class? $15 per person. And how much does it cost you to actually put on the class? Like $268 a person or something like that. Wow, that's good margin. Yeah. The real margin in this business is in these classes. If an average class has 20 people in it, you would be generating $300 in revenue and $246 in gross profit. Those are killer margins. Why did you specifically pick this location? Because our partner said, I own this location. What do you mean partner? Um, we have a business partner, Dane Baird. He owns half of the company with us. I didn't know that. I thought it was just you guys. We don't see them very often. Is there a lease here on this facility? We um, have, it's up May of next year. Uh -huh. And how much is it a month? 1400 Can you break down kind of how your finances work, your summary of your finances? We're doing a close to 420000 a year. And does the business make any money today? No. This year we lost about $17,000. But, you know, last year we only lost like three, but we paid ourselves more this year so that we could live. The first year we made $10,000 combined. You can't live off $10,000 a year combined. We've been fighting with Dane over this. He doesn't want um, us to get paid at all. I tried to get $12 an hour, and he's tried to block that. And it's just been a, a constant fight with this guy. Why haven't you guys bought him out? I've tried, and he won't sell. I mean, we have tried this for six months now. Does he contribute? No, he hasn't in quite some time. We would try to meet with this guy, because for a while he was still in charge of our finances. Yeah. He read this book or something something called The Five Hour, and this is not four hour, four work hour work week. He no, 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 loves that book. <laughs> no, Who like, works four hours? And I was pulling my hair out for a while. She fought, like, finally, <laughs> some fine, I know. I don't have much left. <laughs> it's like. Not a lot to lose. <laughs> Is Dane gonna come here today? I don't know. I mean, it speaks volumes that he hasn't been involved in this process. I mean, how often do you get this opportunity and you're not gonna be present? We need to do a batch of hard candy. I want seven cups of sugar, one cup of water. What I wanna do is get it to the texture that I get it to. What we got next? We need to wrap? 100 caramels. I see a Dane sighting. <laughs> Dane's here? He's outside. Ah. Hey! Oh, look at this wow. guy. Wow. Long time no see around the I know. Parts. I know. That's what happens when you have a reality show, I guess, huh? You just show up. Yeah, you show so. up. You afraid to wrap a little caramel? Oh, you know I know how. <laughs> you know I know how. Might as well. So you having fun? I am having a good time. That's good. Hi, Peter. Hi. Long time no see. It's still delicious. So what brings you here today? What, what is it that you want? What is it I want? Yeah. In terms, In terms of? of this business. Well, I like it. Let's start to, there. To grow so it's profitable. I mean, that's. And what are you doing to contribute to that growth? Well, I mean, when I. When I say, hey, look, let's get a business plan together and do it, and I just get a blank stare. It's hard to go. Not a that, blank stare, Dane. I think, I think what we clearly said was we are, would love to talk to you about a business plan, but let's handle this issue of fair compensation first. No, none of us were ever, ever getting paid what we're worth, period. Right, but you're, but you're, yeah, not, you're not contributing you're not, like we are. I got over 5,000 hours in this business, right? Three and How many hours do you think we you have? I did IT. I did, I did, I bought the building. I, Buying the building, then hold on, you, you hold on, own hold the on, building. Hold on. The first year, we made $10,000 together. We're well beyond qualified for that. I cannot spend time here in an unprofitable business knowing that I will never get but paid. But you expect us to do it. Right? That That is your choice. Hey, You're full of crap. All you do is talk. Stop, stop. You can't make okay, money. OK, well, then let's part our ways. I don't have a lot of business experience, but I've owned more businesses than you. And I can tell you, if the partners don't get along, it's not going anywhere. We have Look, to be able to work together. I have, I have lost faith. We need to change dramatically well, then, okay, then, then in then the leave. business. 
how do we how do we buy you out? What do you want? What I want is I believe in the product and I believe in the people. Tell me a me number, too. Dane. So I, I don't want to sell. I do not want to we sell. Don't want I don't want to work with you. Why Look, can't you sell? Why see, can't you this sell? This is why I can't no. think. When you're in my no, face. I don't, I don't I'm not in your face. Do you want me to get in your face? Because that's your face. That's so unnecessary. That's not necessary. This is just crazy talk that we can't be with. I mean, this is just I'm trying to participate in You know this is our life's passion. You know how much we give to this business. It's a hostage situation is what it is. You just trying to hold us hostage. That's all it is. You, it's you, not. You, see, it's not. you use sure people and they're just taken from us. You're holding us See, hostage. I disagree. See, like, at this Thank point, you, it's but like, I disagree. Let's, let's just bring Bye, it down. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know where to go from here, Dane. Bye. Well, that was interesting. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. I'm Dane. Nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure's mine. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, a lot of passion. And so, what are your thoughts? P and Allison are really talented, uh -huh. but we've never had a plan. You know, having some type of, uh, you know, profit at the end of the day. What is your strong suit? I'd say this, business development, sales. Um, we created this uh, pretty large field trip business. It was all service related. Did you create the field trip business? Um, I created with them, to be honest. I mean, yeah. if I didn't come in, yeah. they, there would never, they wouldn't have been, this would never have happened. Right. How much money have you invested in actual cash into this business? Um, probably around $85,000 in the building and the in the grounds and then... The building's yours, right? Yeah, that's a private that's right. asset. So that's in this right. company, how much money have you put in? And then about $5,000 worth of uh, labor. No, but in dollars. And then, and then probably about 1,000, 2,000 bucks in the initial inventory. So how much in total dollars have you put into this business? From the start, two grand. $2,000? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's your total investment in the company? Right. $2,000. That's right. They want to buy you out so they can move on with their life and, you know, obviously not have that kind of tension. Why wouldn't you just take some nice return on your money and move on about your life and not have all the stress? I think this is, this could go big. But yeah. I, I think what I saw there is you believe in the product, but they don't believe in your partnership. Right. What happens if they just left here today and they went and started somewhere else. Right. I, w I would take, as a shareholder of the firm, I would take issue with that tactic. But, but, but what, would be your, what would be your claim? They left, they're employees, they quit. But if they, if, they, if they did leave and they started something else, that would hurt the firm. Dang, slavery was outlawed a long time ago. They don't have to stay here. Sweet Pete's has an amazing product. I love it. But with this toxic partnership, I need to be mindful in how I'm investing in this deal. I have to come up with a deal that resolves their past issues and definitely minimizes their interaction. If I can get them to agree, we're all gonna make a lot of money. Well, uh, yesterday was interesting. In all my years of doing business, I have never, ever seen, ever, more passion from one person in my entire life. The one thing that's obvious to me is this is a partnership gone very bad. And it's typically pretty hard to repair. Dane, in your mind, are we at a point of no return? I've always been an optimist. And so for me, I always think there's hope for the future. How about for you? Uh, for me, in a business sense, I don't see how I can go forward. And so what's an alternative in your guys' mind? We leave. Yeah. And, we, and then build again with the right partner. I believe it's so lopsided you know, in terms of our contribution. I feel like he's always trying to look out for whatever's good for him and not the business. It's very unfair. That's not the case. My wife and I put in some money to get the whole process going. He put in $2,000. That's right. I'd just like to point out, Dana, we would have meetings where you would say, oh, okay, I'm committed, I'm excited, and then we'd have another meeting where you were out. Let me make something very clear. I did start to check out, but it was for good reason. And I, I, I understand what you're I don't know. I don't I get that checkout thing. I mean, I mean, if if you own 50% of a business and the business is struggling, Hold on you a don't second. just check Hold, out. No, no, no. It wasn't like that. There was there was no income coming in. And my sore point with the business model is I really didn't have anything to do that I could feel like I could ever make a living at because the business is not scalable. If I was in your shoes, right. I would have come back to them and said, here's what the budget looks like. Here are some ideas yeah. I have of growing the business 15%. What do you think? Did that happen? No. I, I, I failed in that regard. So it's very challenging when you say that you don't like the business model. Well, I made a list. <laughs> so, you know, basically, I, 
done a lot of sweat equity in this business. Okay. You know, sales, marketing, wholesale. Let me tell you something. This is your contribution. If we had to list all of our contributions, I it, get it, it would look like the phone book. I get it. It would look like the phone book. I get it. You think you contribute as much as me, and you don't. I've tried. It's just crap. Not your words but are I, hollow. Guys, it's, crap. You, you've talked, Zane, but we need doing. We execute. You have the option to execute, OK? You choose not to. I'm sorry you feel that way, because you know, I love the business. I love the product. I love you guys. That's your slippery, evasive yeah, that's crap. Insane. Slippery, okay, evasive okay. crap. I don't, I don't want to talk to you anymore. OK. I think you're just full of it. You're just full of it. Jackass. Pete, come on back, bro.